Film Noir presents today. Switching Parents. Switching Parents, original title, Gregory K., is an American drama TV movie shot in 1993 and directed by Linda Otto. Linda Otto was born on April 4, 1940 in the USA. She died on June 27, 2004 in Los Angeles, California. She was a producer and casting director. She is best known for Prisoners of Wedlock, 1991, Destined to Live, 1988, and Find My Child, 1983. The movie features the young, Joseph Gordon-Levitt, as Gregory Kingsley, who even at the age of 12, shows his talent for acting. Gregory Kingsley who made the news when he, as a 12 years old boy, went to court in 1992, to divorce his parents in order to be raised by a more loving family. You will do me a great favor by clicking the thumbs up and the subscribe button. My sincere thanks in advance. Here comes, Switching Parents. Tonight's film is a dramatization of events surrounding the adoption of the boy known as Gregory K. None of the individuals portrayed participated in the making of the film. Let's get this paperwork out of the way so I can show you to your room. You can meet your roommates, okay? All right. Name? Kingsley. Gregory? Not Gregory. Sean. Sean? Your name is Sean? Hey, Gregory. It's my father's name. People who didn't know him called him Ralph. He didn't care, as long as he got what he wanted. Hello, Reverend Dodge. I'm Ralph Gregory Kingsley. And my kids. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You want to see your little brothers? Pick Florida to run off to. Let me hold the court order. Uh, Reverend Dodge? Yes? Are, are you the foster parent of uh, Zachary and Jeremiah Kingsley? Yes, I am. Uh, who? I'm Ralph Kingsley. Oh, yes, of course. The uh, state social worker called this afternoon about a visit. Uh, I, I, I didn't come to visit. I came to, to get him. <laughs> oh, you, you mean you want to take the boys today? Yeah. Well, um, Alice. Alice? Uh, 
You know, my work uh, took me out of the state for a couple of years, but as soon as I got back in the area, I tried to find my boys. What do I find? My wife, uh, Rachel, has uh, abandoned them and moved to Florida. You know, I don't understand her. I, I just don't understand. Mr. Kingsley wants to take the boys today. Oh, after so much time, don't you think a little visit to let them get used to the idea? Look, I got the court order right here. Oh, now, huh? Now. Uh, this is Francesca, my second wife. Uh, well, I, I'm, I'm sure the Reverend didn't mean that he suspected us of any wrongdoing. Uh, no, 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 of course not. Uh, I was just surprised. Why don't I come in and we can pack their things? You sure you don't want to wait a couple of days? Ma'am, uh, I haven't seen my boys in four years. Zachary? Jeremiah? Look how big you got. I can't believe you guys. I'll never put you in foster care. Never. I love you. Oh, I can't believe it. Come on, Zachary. Where's mom? Do we look like you? I, I don't know. I, I don't want to look like you. You're ugly. She left us with Aunt Bess after Christmas. And when she didn't come back, Aunt Bess got mad and gave us up. That's how we got with them. Mom still look like that? I think so. It's pretty old. Yeah, five years old. Just before I visited Dan. Where you been all this time? Ralph moves a lot. Don't, don't forget Jeremiah's medication. It's for hyperactivity. Oh, he don't need that stuff. Just makes him worse. Did you drink all this? You must be an alky. Maybe you can mouth off to your mama, but don't you ever talk that way to me. Not to me. Little halfwit. Your life is with me now. Understand? You understand? This is the second time he's shown up with these kind of injuries. Well, let's see what the father has to say. Dr. Edward Chandler, report to emergency. Uh, we want to keep Jeremiah overnight for observation. Oh, God, no. Dr. Why? To be frank, your son's injury requires an investigation. I'll see you later. What for? An invest... Ma'am, you know, Jeremiah is always falling. He's really clumsy. You know, we were just playing with our rabbit, and he fell off the back porch. Well, Gregory, that may be true. But I'm here to respond to a hotline call for child abuse. What? We're, we're being accused after what his mother did? Is she saying that you hit us, Dad? Yeah. Ma'am, he wasn't even there. Look, uh, you come on out to the house. You come out and see for yourself. We got ourselves a good home. A good home. Well, I really hope so. But either you leave him overnight at the hospital, or we will take him into protective custody. What? The, what you... <laughs> As soon as we get him back, we start packing. It's time Rachel was responsible for Jeremiah and Zachary again. Come on, get the phone up. Come on. You got that? Come on, come on. Oh. 
Stay here. She don't want to see you. Come on, come on! Oh my God! Oh, oh my baby! Mm. Rachel. Rachel. The whole family is furious at you for putting those kids in foster care. Maybe if I had some help from your father, it wouldn't have been necessary. We're going to work together and raise these kids right. No more disappearing acts. Ralph's found us a place down in Clearwater. We'll be in touch. What about Gregory? He stays with me. You've had him almost five years. I want him back. Rachel! He stays with me. Then he's not gonna get his hands on you again. Don't you worry. We're gonna be together forever, okay? Okay, I promise you. I promise you. You little boy, huh? You little boy. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah
before you go to work. You gotta get up now. No, oh, you didn't even fill those forms out yet, did you? I don't qualify for food stamps. I say I make too much money. <laughs> My mom wants us out of here by Monday. No, no, no. I don't know where to go. Can we stay with you for a couple days? Oh, Rachel, I've been telling you for six months oh, you can God. look here place go. you can afford with three kids. You can afford to buy new dresses. If I don't look good, I'm not going to get tipped. You can afford to go drinking every night. You, you just don't understand. No, the hell I don't. I have a kid. You too. don't have these kids. No, why don't you blame the sun and the trees and the air that you breathe? I'm out of here. Sorry, Gregory. Key. No, it's my key. It's my keychain. I get to open the door. Come on, let me open the door. No, you can't open the door. Get away. I did it. Well, you can't open the door. Get in. Mom? I thought you were at work. Mom? Did your mom tell you why you were going into foster care? Nope. She never did. Some lady just showed up to take us. Mom said it was only going to be a month. Turned out to almost be a year. But your mom completed her performance agreement and you got to go home again. Oh, yeah, for two whole months. Ah, oh, Gregory. My name is Sean. Maybe we'd better discuss that. Abe, hey, if he wants to be called Sean. We should never encourage behavior that undermines reunification. Well, I think that uh, Sean wants to start a whole new life. Well, he can't. Look, your mom is working very hard to get you back. And while you belong with her and with your brothers. Do I? And Mama's got her high school equivalency now. Great, Ma. We're going to have a whole new life now, Gregory. We're going to have a good life. You're never going to have to go into foster care again. I promise you. I promise you that. Okay. Gonna tell? Gonna tell her? Tell Sean! Her, tell, her tell her what? Mom. Tell her what? He changed Mom. his name! Sean! Sean. It's Sean! Sean. 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 Is your mom at home? Yeah. Who are you? I'm Jordan McLean, HRS. That's Health and Rehabilitative Services. 
So, uh, where's your mom? Thanks. Why don't you go wait in the bedroom while I talk to your mom, okay? Yeah. Mrs. Kingsley. Mrs. Kingsley. I'm responding to an abuse hotline report that you were planning to put your children out in the street. Mrs. Kingsley, are you planning to put your children out on the street? Uh, can I can I put them up for adoption? I don't know. You don't have to make that decision right away. There are other options. Foster care. Oh, I I I, uh, I can't stay here. I I can't pay the rent. Listen. I got a thermos of coffee out in the car. Let me go get it. You said you wouldn't put us back into foster care. You said we'd be together forever. Uh, honey, I'm all alone. You promised you'd keep us. You promised. You promised. I put Jeremiah in the children's crisis unit. How long do you think I'll have to be there? Probably a week or so. I need to pinpoint his problems. And we need to talk about you keeping up with his medication for hyperactivity. It just, and, it, it made him impossible. And we need to talk about your performance agreement. Oh, God. But just like the last time I got to do this and that before I get my children back? The parenting classes. Like, there is not a thing wrong with my parenting that money wouldn't solve. Why don't they just pay me what they're giving the foster parents? Mrs. Kingsley. Like, if you've been through what I've been through... My husband abused me, okay? Surprise, surprise, I have trouble controlling my kids. Just so obvious. Okay. You'll need to see Jeremiah and Gregory at least once a week. It's going to be very hard for you to keep connected with them. Because they're not going to believe that things are going to work out. My boys believe in me. They know I'm doing this for their good. Zach's going to stay with you? I gotta hold on to one of you in order to get all of you back. But he's been with you all along. He's the baby, Gregory. He can't handle it like you can. So, Gregory, you ready to go? Aren't you gonna say goodbye to me? Goodbye. You know, mom's gonna come through for you. I'm doing this for you. Come here. Let me take your face in my hands. Tell you how much I love you. I did not. I did too. I did not. Well, at least I'm getting to know where to find you. What I want else isn't? Yeah. So, is bad schools out? I guess. Did well on those computers. I asked. Proud of you. So, why are you here? Uh, it's the June meeting of the County Commission on Children's Services. Actually, I came a little early because, uh, well, I didn't want to just call you, but I heard from your mom. Yeah. Come on.
Come on, Sean. This is boring. Sean, she's your mom. She lives a half hour away from here in Orlando, and she hasn't come to visit me once in eight months. That's 37 Sundays, 259 days, 6,216 hours. All right. She tried to call in April. Now she's calling in June. And she called to say that she's gone back to Missouri. Missouri? Do you, do you want to arrange a call to her? What you said in there, George. Well, no amount of words can make up for actions. I thought you said you were a lawyer. Well, this is the rec room, which is usually just that. Don't mind us, boys. We're just some old guys having a tour. Uh, back here, we've got the bedrooms. Oop. Nice and clean here, Ed. Thank you. I don't think there's anybody back here now, so why don't we have a look at one of the rooms? Oh, I'm sorry, son. I didn't think anybody was in here. No, that, that's okay. Yeah, but we don't want to disturb your reading. We'll look at another room. All right. Have a nice tour. Thank you. What's bothering you? Oh, it's this boy. Huh? I saw this little boy at the boy's ranch. Not a smile anywhere in him. My brother used to look at me like that. After Mom died, Dad was drinking. George. He was so alone. You did what you could for him. You got him away from your father. Alcohol is such an evil. It never lets you go. I... I thought I'd forget him. But I can't get him out of my mind. I just can't. I can't. George. Can we do something? Can, can we do something for him? Well, of course we can, George. You call the boys' ranch and we'll see if there's some... George, we'll do whatever we can. Hey. Fine. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Here, Here we are. Hi. This is Sean. Sean, this is Mr. and Mrs. Russ. Hi, Sean. Well, hello, Sean. Hi. Hi. So, have a good lunch. And, uh, well, I'll see you in a couple of hours. Okay? Thank you, George. Yeah. All right. Very Enjoy. good. Later, Enjoy. dude. <laughs> Thank <laughs> Bye -bye. you. Bye.
Well, Sean, we picked this place because we didn't know what you'd like, but uh, it's got really good hamburgers. Oh, that's great. <laughs> really great. I bet you like hamburgers, huh? Oh, yeah. All American kids have to like hamburgers. It's in the Constitution. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, does that mean I can't have steak? Oh, oh Mr. Mr. <laughs> Russ, it's nice to see you. And uh, which little Russ are you? You know, I can't keep the eight of you straight. <laughs> this way, please. Thank you. You guys have eight kids? Oh, wow. Must really like kids. Well, you know, at first I was kind of afraid of the horses. Well, not afraid, but you know, they're so big. Then I discovered that they like to have their noses scratched. <laughs> well, I like to have my nose scratched occasionally, too. <laughs> there you are, Mr. Russ. Thank you. And this young man is for you. You didn't need your expensive steak. I forgot to be hungry, huh? Shall we? This time we can go to my office. Oh, yeah, that'd be great. I'd like that? to do that sometime. <laughs> you have a steak? Oh, I have a steak. Yeah, you can eat that when you get back to the oh. ranch. Do I have to go back? Don't make me go back. Please. Please. Come here. Come here. Listen. If Elizabeth and I can get qualified as foster parents, would you like to come and live with us? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> give a child security without becoming attached. It's unnatural. Well, it's foster care. You have to remember, you're just a way station. A child can't thrive like that. Well, unless you want to adopt every dependent kid in Florida. It is in the child's best interest to be reunited with his biological family. Now, are you thinking about adopting Sean? He's been in foster care for almost two years. The state is supposed to either terminate the parental rights or return the child to his parents after 18 months. George, it's not that. We fell in love with him. We want to help. Well, Sean's talked about nothing else but you since your lunch. <sighs> he is so needy right now. Well, he hasn't spoken to his mother in over a year. He's only been in her custody ten months out of the last eight years. Does he want to go back? The boy is totally impressionable right now. If you tell him you want to adopt him, he's going to stick to you like a barnacle. He's going to pin all his hopes on you. Foster children aren't supposed to have hopes either. He's not an orphan, George. If his mother completes the performance agreement, the judge is going to rule that the family be reunited, and Sean won't have a choice. But if he pins his hopes on you, he is going to have a problem. Well, the last thing we want to do is hurt him. We won't mention it. I'll open the door. This is going to be the world's longest weekend. Let's chill out. Well, you don't have to get up your room. Guys, remember what Dad said. Okay, you take the olives, take that dish to the table. Hey, fellas. Hi, Dad. Hey, honey. Here, why don't you take this bag for Sean? Right. Thank you. How's Mom? It was good. Okay, sure. All right, come on. Give him some air. Give him some air. I thought they said you were 12. You're short. I don't want to eat. You've been waiting so long. Well, well, well. Hi, Mom. I really missed you. How do you feel about cold cuts? The thing you make is terrific. You can't call her mom. We already did. Sit next to me on the other side. Here, okay, move down, darling. Oh, Get in the middle of Brother, sit here. Hey there, Bucko. Hey, there we go. Hi, right, Sean. How's she going? Okay. 
Everybody hungry? All right. Thank you. Great. Well, Sean, whatever you want, whatever you see, you know, there's plenty of food. There's more in the kitchen. Hey, black olives! You like black olives? Yeah, what's wrong with that? It's great. All of us kids love black olives. We even get a can of Christmas stockings. This has got to mean something. It's a sign. It's a sign. <laughs> oh. Well, I think that it means you can adopt me. Oh! <laughs> oh, I must have the wrong address. No. You must be the social worker Rachel said was coming to do a home study. Right. I'm Marie Esteban. Who are you? James Sharp. This is my house. Rachel! Hey! Rachel! Hi. Hi. Come on in. Rachel, you were supposed to get departmental approval before another adult lived with you. Well, I'm not allowed to get married without their approval? Well, I thought you were still married to no. Ralph. This time, I'm getting a divorce. Let's see. Oh, this looks like a really nice place. Thanks. How are you doing on your parenting classes? A psychological evaluation on you and Zach? Rachel, aren't you worried they'll terminate your parental rights? Look, I gave my kids up so they could eat and they could have a place to sleep. It was a money thing. That was a year ago, it's Rachel. It's gonna get done. Don't worry. Look, I just, you know, I had to get my life together, okay? How are the other boys doing? Um, I, uh, I talk to Jeremiah every week. And the last time I called uh, Gregory, the people at the boys' ranch said he didn't want to talk to me, so. That doesn't concern you? He's still angry with me because I had to give him up. No, but he's the oldest, and he's just going to have to understand. But, you know, he's going to come around. Why not? Oh, it wouldn't be a surprise. My own desk? Oh. Try the bed. Oh, water bed! Wow! I love my new room. Thank you, fabulous, wonderful, terrific mother. All right. You settle in. I'm gonna get dinner. Okay. Why are you such a suck up? I'm not. My brother says you're the biggest suck up he's ever seen. Get out of my room. This is the guest room. I live here now, just like you do. You just got here. I was born here. you want to do that? You gonna show me, Rachel? Sure. First, you have to learn to suck up a lot of air. It takes a lot of practice to be a really good suck up.
Good morning, sir. I'm sorry, I didn't I scare you? Uh, that's okay. Well, where is everybody? Well, they had to be at church to practice for the Christmas play. And we thought you'd like to sleep in. Oh, okay. Uh, they'll be back soon. Well, sure. After lunch. Oh. Okay, I just thought they were captured by aliens or something. Well, that's a scary feeling. Oh, no, I didn't really think they were captured by anything. Sean, we live here. We're not going anywhere, and neither are you. Okay. <laughs> now, what do you want for breakfast? Is she taking the parenting classes? Not yet. Oh, I see she has a job. Is she sending any money for the support of the kids? No. What about her psychological evaluation? No, she hasn't done any of that yet, but I think if we just gave Rachel a little more time... Marie, you have, what, 30 cases on your desk? I think it's time to close out the ones who can't even be bothered to try. Okay. Hey, I'll uh, get a letter out to Florida today. You do that. seven classes. I'll get one later. Okay. Well, now, can you grab the napkins off the counter there? Oh, yeah, sure. Hey, Dad's home. Hi. 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 The king of the world is home. Oh, mwah. Let's go. <laughs> you look like you ate a canary. <laughs> a big fat one. I heard some interesting news from the HRS. Missouri Social Services has recommended against the return of the two Kingsley boys to their natural mother. An HRS staffing for termination. Oh. Oh. Yes. No fair speaking legal, Dad. <laughs> well, if everything goes the way it should, we'll be able to adopt Sean. All right. <laughs> that is, if he wants us to. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Rachel? You've got to stop him. What? Who? The judge in Florida. He, he scheduled a hearing. Oh, they moved to terminate your rights, haven't they? What? No, they, they've given Ralph visitation. They're, they're going to give Ralph custody. With your husband? Yeah. He called me on the phone. He's, he spent the whole day with Jeremiah. How can I give him oh, custody? Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Come, come on in here. You're, you're losing me here. Sit down and tell me what's going on. He's just, you know, he's going to disappear again. He's a blackout drunk. I left him for abusing me. Gregory called 911 on him in Florida. Yeah, I know. There were two abuse reports filed on him over in Boone County two years ago. That was the last time we had all three boys. Okay, I'm going to call Florida and find out what's going on. I don't know what the status of Gregory and Jeremiah is. I thought they were going to terminate your rights. But if, if they're giving Ralph a chance at custody, I can fax them a letter. I'll recommend the boys be returned to you. Okay. You've started the classes? Yes. Zach is doing better? Yes. Okay. Now all you have to do is show up at that hearing in Florida. Mm -hmm. Sean, there's no easy way to say this. Your biological mother and father want you back. And the state has stopped termination proceedings. Apparently your father... No! Sean, easy, just... Just let me tell you what's happening. He won't go. Not with him. Not with her. It's the law. We may not like it. What do you know about it? You're not going back to a father who's drunk all the time. You're not going back to sleeping in cars and being beaten with a belt. And you're not going to get sent off to wherever your mom can dump you when she doesn't want you anymore. You're not going to watch her throw up all over your breakfast. That's not going to happen to you. John. I'm not going back. 
The judge says... What about what I say? Why don't I count? Doesn't anybody care what I want? I do, Sean. So does the Constitution. The way I read it. And according to the Constitution, you're a person. You have rights. You have the right to be secure in your home. You have the right to protect yourself. And you have the right to pursue happiness. And that means that you have the right to your own lawyer. So you can go into court and present your case. So you could do it. You could be my lawyer. No. No, Sean, I can't. HRS would consider that a conflict of interest. They try to take you away from us. No one's going to help me. You're going to have to make this call by yourself. You're going to have to go to this meeting by yourself. You're on your own here. Jerry Blair. Is that guy? Now, why are you here, Gregory Kingsley? Well, that's your real name, the name your parents gave you. It's about the only thing they what was so bad? Tell me. Nothing ever stayed the same. Nothing. When I was with my dad, we moved so much. I missed a year of school. And when I was with my mom, if she left, I never knew if she was going to come back. Did they starve you or lock you in a closet or burn you with cigarettes? They just didn't care about me. You want to go to court? and get up on the witness stand and say, my mom's a bad person, my daddy's a drunk, take away their rights. Maybe if I do it, people will pay attention to the kids getting burnt with cigarettes. But it's not a game. If you get what you want and Rachel wins the lottery the next day, she doesn't have to give you a dime. What's that got to do with it? I just want you to understand what's going on. We're going to court to ask the judge take away my parents' legal rights over me. Well, court is the last place we want to go. First, we see if your lawyer can uh, get the system to work for you. How much does my lawyer cost? I don't know. Got any decent baseball cards? She abandoned him in Missouri. She gave him up in Florida twice. In all this time, did you ever make any contributions to child support? Oh, hell, you gotta find Rachel before you can pay her. He hasn't paid a penny in child support, Your Honor. Thank you, Mr. Kingsley. Well, it seems Ms. Esteban has changed her mind about your progress with the performance agreement, Mrs. Kingsley. And since you've been the primary caregiver to Jeremiah since he was born, I'm going to award custody of him to you. Now, let's let him settle in, and we'll, we'll adjudicate Gregory's case in six months. It'll be September. Well, what about me? What about my rights? Before I would consider your rights, Mr. Kingsley, I would need to see a full alcohol evaluation in writing. Who does he think he is? He probably could smell you from up there. Don't you know enough not to come into court reeking of booze? That judge screwed me. I'm gonna sue. I'm gonna sue you all! Rachel? Isn't it wonderful? Yeah, I'm happy for you. Thanks. I'm very happy for Jeremiah. He never stops talking about you. Oh. But, uh, listen, about Gregory. Um, well, his foster parents would like to meet you. And I want to meet them. Oh, well, good. I'll arrange it. Thanks. Okay. So glad to be able to thank you. Don't 
Jordan tells me Gregory is very happy. We love Sean. That is the damnedest thing. You know, I almost named that boy Sean, and then he goes and picks it himself. <laughs> Mrs. Kingsley. Uh, let me start, George. Rachel, you know how Gregory's been... Angry with me? Won't talk to me? Oh, yeah. You know, he wants to be adopted and... wants the moon. He's... he's gonna get over it. You know. Well, the Russes feel that his desire to be adopted is genuine. Well, then they obviously don't know children. I mean, he's just... Rachel, they would like to adopt him, if you'd be willing to sign. What? what? Come on. You've been gone. I don't think you realize the changes that Gregory's been through. Well, he changes his name, and he changes his mother just like that. I don't think so. Mrs. Kingsley... Sean has said repeatedly that he'd rather go back to the boys' ranch than return home to you. He's my son. And he's gonna go where I tell him to go. I gave birth to him. You know, he, he was born, he was three pounds. I went to that hospital every day. Until they took him out of the incubator. Who are you? Where have you been all his life? Huh? What? What? Ralph, it's me. I gotta talk to you. Those people want to adopt him. Who? What people? Gregory's foster parents. State's paid him money. Take care of him now. They want to steal him. Have you been with him? Have you seen him? No, they said he doesn't want to see me. That's what they told me. They want him. Of course, they want Gregory. They want... They, they, why else would they put off the case today? They're trying to keep him from me. They're telling him things. If I could just talk to him. They think they can walk all over us because we're poor. But I'm going to... I'm, I'm going to go behind the scenes. I got that judge's ear. Yeah. All I'd have to do is just take his little face in my hands and just tell him how much I love him. That's all I have to do. We gotta get a visitation. We gotta see him face to face. We're gonna do whatever we have to do to get Gregory back. Jordan told me Ralph has called the boys ranch seven times in the last hour. He's out of control. Why is Sean crying? Go to bed. Daddy will take care of it. But there's a squad car on oh, no, honey. It's just to make sure that nothing happens. Everything's gonna be okay. Right? Trust us. Go. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Kingsley. Hello. George Russ. I just got your message. Listen, mister, we want to see our son. Mr. Kingsley. Yeah, well, who do you think you are keeping him from us? We're going to see him. You bring him to the boys' ranch tomorrow. He's not our son. You beggar. You thief. You self-righteous pig. Mr. Kingsley. You bring him to the boys' ranch tomorrow. Well, we'd be... Happy to arrange a visitation sometime tomorrow afternoon. You know, you're you're not supposed to be the parents, you're the foster parents. We're the parents. Tomorrow then? 5.30. <laughs> We have no choice. I really don't want to. <laughs> Nothing's gonna happen. But something might, if we fight it. So please, just obey me on this, okay? Okay, Dad. Are 
Lake County Boys Ranch. Uh-huh. Hang on. Hello? Hi, Rachel. Hi, Ralph. No, I don't. No, I, I don't. Could you please just... No. No, you listen. I don't want to live with you. I don't want to live with anybody but the Russes. Because I love them. And I want them to adopt me. No. No, you can't. They're gonna get me. They're cowards and they're bullies. And they're not gonna lay a hand on you. Gregory K. Plaintiff. Wait, uh, who is that, the guardian? Nope. He's a kid. Can a minor father complain? Well, we're gonna find out. Gregory K., a minor child, plaintiff, versus Ralph K., his natural father, Rachel K., his natural mother, and the state of Florida Department of Health and Rehabilitative Services for termination of the child-parent relationship. What an idea. Child suing to get rid of his parents. Ms. Blair, you are a caution. If your petition is accepted, you may be the first kid in America to bring suit on your own behalf to terminate your parents' rights. So they'll have to pay attention to me now. That's right. So we have to be careful they can't say stuff about us, like George and Elizabeth are keeping you from your natural parents. You're going to have to see Ralph and Rachel again. You're going to get a childhood, Sean. You're just going to have to wait a couple more months for it to begin. Take a shot. Take a shot. Come on, come on. Come on. Oh, he's a star. Oh, great right. shot, Sean. Good shot. My boy's playing ball. My boy, I can't believe it. We, we never... Why, well, I, I can't give him what you can and uh, I want my boy happy. I want him settled. So I'm ready. I'll sign the adoption papers. I'll sign them today. I'd sign them right now if you had them. As a matter of fact, I do. Oh, wait. <laughs> I, uh, I, I don't have a pen. Let's see if this one works. If you file to adopt Gregory now, you're, you're backing the state of Florida into a corner. Good. The HRS has abandoned Sean just as surely as Rachel has. They've kept him in foster care for almost three years. Illegally. They have reports that Ralph is abusive and that Rachel neglects her children. Judge Kirk recommended terminating her rights, and they ignored him. They staffed for adoption last January, and they, they got his hopes up. They got our hopes up. And then they turn around and they say, give her another chance. It's abuse by a state agency. They will come and take him away. We'll get Kirk to run the cases in tandem and get decisions on both at once. And what about Sean? That's what this is about. 
He's never had a grown-up stand up for him. He needs to know that he's not alone. If you lose, you won't be able to go back to foster parenting. You are deliberately breaking your agreement with the state. <sighs> Sean can't go back. Neither can we. Okay, Gregory, uh... We're all here, just like you wanted. I still don't want to see her. Gregory? Gregory? So, you seen any good movies lately? What? What kind of movies do you like? What do you mean? I mean, what kind of movies do you like? I don't know. Did you have a nice vacation? What? Didn't you, didn't you go on vacation? Down to a condo on the beach? Oh, yeah. It was nice. Wish I could take you to the beach. Wait till you see our new home. Jim's fixing up a bedroom for you in the basement. I, I brought some pictures. Junior brothers. You know, your little brothers really miss you. Maybe you could give them a call sometime. Maybe later. Gregory? It's just a phone call. What's a phone call? Thomas Kirk, Orange County Juvenile Court. All rise. Well, Gregory, it is the opinion of this court that you have the same constitutional rights as an adult. I'm going to award you standing. You can bring your own case. Okay, Sean, let's go. Gregory, quick, Gregory. believe this. Me neither. Okay. You gonna be okay under here? Yeah, I guess. Keep it closed. Okay. Let's go. Judge Kirk has given Gregory K. the right to come into a court of law and present his own case. It's a Children are people, not property, and they deserve to be treated as people in the Florida courts. Their voices need to be heard. I 
I've changed my mind. I don't want the adoption. I thought I was going to have the right to see Gregory, and now I understand I may never see him again. I, I sent him $20 for his birthday. They never even sent a thank you note. and she's bleeding all over. Is he hurting her? Yes, he's beating up on her. Do you need an ambulance? I don't know, but I've got to get off quick. Poor Jeremiah and Zachary. Still, do you know how many kids have the courage to do that? He even called back to make sure they were coming. Oh, well, maybe their big brother Gregory is having some effect on them. Well, if we use this to prove Rachel's unfit, that makes Ralph next in line as biological parent. That will never happen. We have one, two physical abuse reports on Ralph from Missouri, a Florida police report, and then there's Colorado. His teenage daughter. Did you know that Ralph had a daughter from a previous marriage? He was married for the first time when he was 14. And according to a Missouri caseworker, there were some allegations that he abused his daughter. Well, I bet you would hate to see some of this get brought up in court. I mean, if we don't bring him up, Rachel's lawyer will. I wonder if... Uh... Ralph would be interested in a little bargaining. Ralph, as your court-appointed attorney, I have advised you of the effect it might have should you withdraw your consent for the adoption of Gregory Kingsley. Yes. And you've decided it would be in the best interest of Gregory to now consent to his adoption. Um, at this time... As far as I'm capable of, that's the truth. You will never be compelled to give a sworn statement or to appear at trial because of the fact that you are now consenting to his adoption. Is that your understanding? As far as I understand the truth, I believe I do understand it. I do understand. What, am I doing something wrong? No. I don't have to. I'm not gonna. Sean, my... My father was an alcoholic. My little brother was about your age. And I took him away from him. So... You know... Yeah. I know. I know where your strength comes from. And I know the price you paid for it. And I also know this same bitter anger that saved me nearly ate me alive later on. She was saying, I'll never get away? Not until you forgive him. No. No way. No way. Not today, Sean. But someday... He's just weak, Sean. They both are. Okay. But not today.
Isn't it true Mr. Sharp has a history of abuse? Didn't he push you down the stairs? Of course he wouldn't push me down the stairs. I fell. I have cerebral palsy and I fell. This is a case about class. If the judge allows this adoption, then rich people don't have to go to Romania to get their babies. They can go to the local hospital and get a poor woman's child. Rachel is your first witness. We get her to commit herself on these issues, and then we start the parade. She won't have a shred of credibility left when they begin their case. If it works, you look like a genius. If it doesn't, I'm going to look like a jerk on court television. Judge Thomas Kirk, Orange County Juvenile Court. All right. You had a severe drinking problem, did you not? No. You spent most of your money on alcohol and drugs, didn't you? No. During the period that Gregory was in foster care, you never sent him a letter. Incorrect. Did you ever call and talk to him on the phone? I was not allowed to. What happened on the night of August 28, 1992? I went downstairs to turn off the lights and I fell down the stairs. Do you know that Jeremiah Kingsley told the police that Jim Sharp did it? Yes, I do. And that Mr. Sharp admitted he beat you? Is he lying too? Now, Mrs. Kingsley. During the second period, you placed Gregory and Jeremiah in foster care. Why didn't you attend parenting classes? I had no car, no way to get there. Uh, I was usually at work. I had to work to survive 10 to 12 hours a day, six days a week. And yet, you maintained contact with Jeremiah, telephonic contact. Yes, I talked to him every two weeks on the average. When did you try to contact Gregory? June of 91, but they said he was nervous about talking to me. Uh, I tried to call him on his birthday, but he was away on a camping trip. Were you ever discouraged by the boys ranch in trying to communicate with Gregory? They said that he didn't want to be with me after a while. First he did, and then he didn't. Now, Mrs. Kingsley. When you entered into your performance agreement, was it your understanding you were giving up your child for permanent placement with the department? Absolutely not. I was told that if I worked hard and I completed my performance agreement, my children would be returned to me. Anything they asked of me, I was willing to do, and I did. Okay, Mrs. King, you're excused. Let's take a 20 minute break while the other witnesses are prepared. Gregory? Okay, Greg kids, excuse me. Sean, let's go. They won't even let me near him. I know. I told you. Mrs. Kingsley, I'm not trying to take your child away. <sighs> And what exactly would you call it? Could you try to help Rachel? I picked up Rachel. I drove her to work. I dropped off her kids. I took her to HRS. I took her grocery shopping. But there's only so much you can do. Then what else did she do? She got fired for scamming off her tabs. Did you try to help her out financially? We knew better than to give her money because she was spending what she did have on drinking. I don't uh, remember what Gregory had done, but uh, she, she smacked him upside the head. She really liked the face and the head. <laughs> mm. 
Nothing is going to change, you know? She's just not going to change. Your witness. Now, Miss Hanson, you are somehow related to Rachel Kingsley? Uh, she was my stepsister. And after our parents got divorced, I married her brother, and I was her sister-in-law. And you saw all these things? Drugs, neglect, abuse. You were worried for the children. Yes. Did you ever call the police? Did you ever call the state authorities? Did you ever call social workers? I didn't want to get involved. But you've involved yourself today. Uh, hold on, wait a minute. Your wife just left the room. Would you like a little recess? You can see how she is? Uh, yes. Thank you. I can't. It's just anxiety. No, I can't testify. Sure you can. Sure you can. You just get up on the stand. Everything will be fine. When... No, George. I won't testify. Liz. Liz. I mean, what are we doing to this woman? Why do we have to be so hard on her? And she's sitting in there listening to all of this. It's a divorce. <sighs> he only has six years left to be a child. We can't wait. George, I'm a mother. I know how she feels. Sean is just a possession to her. Mom, are you okay? Oh, sure, honey. I, I'm, I'm just uh, worrying. about Rachel. Don't. That's how she gets what she wants. I know, but she, she wants to do right. She always wants to. She always means to. She always promises to. But she never does. Sean, she's your mother. Mrs. Ress, you're a mother. Does Rachel Kingsley love her children? Is I think Rachel loves her children, but she can't show it, because no one's ever shown it to her. She had no mother to watch to see how to be a good mother and put that love into action. What do you mean by put that love into action? You've got to put the child first. Her baby, Zachary, called 911 and said that her boyfriend was beating her up. And it is so obvious from the police records and all that that really happened. But she goes on television and says that Zachary is lying. How can she do that to her own child? He's just a little boy. What are you going to do if the judge sends you back to your mother? Be so mean and bad, they'll send me away. But suppose they don't. Suppose they just keep you. Will you come home? You're part of us now. <sighs> That's how I feel. I'm scared. It's going to be all right. 
You'll see. It'll turn out right. Does Gregory fit into your family? As if he were one of my natural-born children. Do you love this child? I do. If Gregory Kingsley came to you today and said that he had changed his mind and wanted to be reunited with his mother, what would you do? It would break my heart. But I would do whatever he wanted me to do. Thank you, Mr. Russ. Your Honor, we would like to call Gregory Kingsley. Uh, sit down, Gregory, and move up close to the microphone so we can hear you. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Uh-huh. State your name, please. Gregory Kingsley. And do you understand the difference between a truth and a lie? Yes. And do you understand, as you sit up there, that you have sworn to tell the truth? That that is what you have promised to do and what you will do? Yes. Do you trust your mom? No. Why not? Because she breaks promises. What did she promise you? She promised that she'd never put me in foster care again. Do you love Rachel as a mother? No. But what about your brothers, Jeremiah and Zachary? How do you feel about them? Sam is my mom. I don't love her like a mom. Do you hate her? No. You feel sympathy for her? Yeah. After the litigation started, your mom sent you some letters, didn't she? Yeah. She kept bugging me to come home. And she tried to make me feel sorry for what I was doing. Has she tried to blame you for what has happened? Yes. Do you feel you've done anything wrong? No. Are you doing this because you want to hurt her? No. Why are you doing this? I'm doing it for me. So I can be happy. Thank you, Gregory. Now, Gregory, you've testified in your deposition that the reason you thought your mother put you in foster care was she didn't have enough money. That was a guess I had. We never really had any money. Sometimes we didn't have enough food. And how did you feel about that? Would you have preferred to stay with your mother and not have food? Yeah. You're saying... You cared so much about your mother that even if she couldn't take care of you financially, you wanted to be with her more than anything. Yeah. But you don't feel that way today. No. No further questions. go back to your seat now.
Your Honor, Rachel was pleading for our sympathy. I have sympathy for her. I have compassion for her. I have even cried for her on occasion. But we cannot allow ourselves to put Gregory's life on hold while she tries to get hers together. This young man has found a family that wants him, loves him, and in fact, needs him. Because we can't do without him now. I plead with the court to allow Gregory to have a successful and happy life. Rachel Kingsley loves her child. No one said she didn't. But no one sat this little boy down and told him what it's like to be poor in America today. This child has decided it is in his best interest not to be poor anymore. We cannot pick and choose who our parents are. If this is the case, then there will be plenty of kids running around trying to find new parents. Well, it's been a very long trial. I don't see Mrs. Kingsley here. She became ill, Judge. Well, I thought perhaps it was difficult for her to sit through this. It seems that Rachel is doing much better than she has in the past, and I commend her for that. But... I do believe that James Sharp caused her to fall down those stairs, and she hasn't told the truth about that. I believe she's lied consistently to this court. I believe that by clear and convincing evidence, almost beyond a reasonable doubt, that this child has been abandoned and neglected by Rachel Kingsley, his mother. And it is in his manifest best interest her parental rights be terminated immediately. Gregory, you are the son of Mr. and Mrs. Russ at this moment. Thank you. 